Hey guys, I'll be showing you how to get rich in GTA pretty fast, the fastest way possible, and the best way possible. So, step number one, you need to get at least $50,000. So, at least $50,000? Well, here's the reason why. You can play VIP missions at $50,000, but before we get $50,000, we have a little bit of a goal. As you guys can see, I am broke since my last nightclub video, so, you have all of this, but we want to focus on going to money services. Don C8 executive and we want to get the most cheapest like little thing the most cheapest CEO office which I already have the most expensive as you guys can see I already have the maze bank towels but we need to make fifty thousand dollars so how are we supposed to make fifty thousand dollars so we can buy the CEO office well, first off, you can try stealing a cat. Now, I don't know if this, like, it doesn't make you a lot of money, but it will get you somewhere close to at least a few thousand. So, you're just going to... Go to Los Santos Customs, you can steal care. Go to Los Santos Customs and then sell it. Now, either if you want to buy a super yacht, which you probably can't, but you probably actually might be able to if you just do this, like, every single day. But this should be able to make you just a few hundred thousand dollars or maybe a few mil. Should be able to make you a few million. And this is completely solo. Which I just stole this basic car cause really This is not what I do to make money in this game But this is for like people just starting off Now we're pretty close, we're getting pretty close to Los Santos Customs. What you're just gonna do is you're gonna sell the vehicle. And then you bank in that cash. I 
I know this is gonna be a long video, so you guys are up for a long video, so. Now, another thing you could do to get this money is you can try and go to this little S on your map. So if you guys see this little S on your map, yeah, go to that. of service no problem I'll get him off your back so just go to that little s on the map or that big s on the map it should appear right there for me it's not appearing because I just had the cops on me it should be a white s on your map Where that white S should lead you, it should lead you over to here, which, as you guys can see, you should get a text from someone named Simeon, and it should say, you owe me a favor, remember? Good news, you help me with some profitable repair work, we call it even. Come to Premium Deluxe. Now you're just going to enter this. It should put you in a pretty profitable mission, which these missions are actually really easy. Which I'd recommend always putting these on head so you get extra cash. So always put it on head so you can earn some extra cash. Because earning extra cash is good. So always put it on head whenever you're doing these repo missions if you guys are the host. So you're just going to complete this mission. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location.
So these missions can be really hard and really easy sometimes. So right now I have a fully ammoed vehicle which should actually help you with these missions. But you can even play these missions solo. But I'd recommend it with at least two people. So these missions are actually really easier than you expect. But you have a time limit which kind of sucks. So I'll be right back once I'm done this mission. So guys, after you're done that repo mission, it might ask you to pick another repo mission that you want to do. And you obviously want to pick... You obviously want to pick another repo mission so you can earn more cash than you've ever before. So now you might be stuck in the clouds like I am probably right now, but... Alright, I'm not stuck in the clouds. Which I don't want to get copyrighted, so... Off. And it looks like I was kicked out of the session. That sucks. But obviously one is good enough for you. You don't exactly have to pick a second one. Alright, so after you've done at least one repo mission, you obviously want to put that money you earned into your bank account. I only earned 6000 because I kind of quit over time because my team, my whole team left and I put it on head, so... So now, obviously, you might have enough, you might not. If you don't have enough, then I'll show you a few different ways. If you do have enough, that's great. But first, let's off if you don't have enough. If you don't have enough already, if you don't already have 50,000, go to the casino, which is step number one. And no, we're not going to go gamble our money away because that would be ruining our chances of getting this thing that we want, the Maze Bank West office. So you're just going to go over to the casino, and you already know that this is going to be a long video. All 
I wish I could stream this, but you guys know. So now that you're basically at the casino, you are going to go inside the casino, obviously. Duh. So I know that there's a lot of clickbait ways on how to make money in GTA Online. This is not one of them at all. This is all legitimate ways. So you're obviously going to not want to gamble your money away, but you're going to want to buy. You're going to want to buy the membership to the casino, which isn't really that expensive. Now, once you've bought the membership, you need to go up to the cashier. You got to get your visual bonus of a thousand chips. And then you got to speak to the cashier again. Click trade in chips. You're going to click trade in max. And then those chips should turn into money. Now you're going to spin the lucky wheel. Now you could win a vehicle if you're lucky. I never win vehicle anymore. But you're just going to spin it. That was a bad spin. And of course I got IP, IP. I always get IP. I hate getting IP. I hate that. I always get IP, it sucks, I hate spinning that thing, just to get IP, but you could get chips and then you could cash them out. Which I only got IP because it didn't let me spin it. And obviously we're going to have to buy a few properties in this video. And again, if you didn't own the money, here's another way. Go to any store. And then just grab the star, and you can just keep doing this over and over again. You can grab all stars, but it will take a long time just to grab one, just to grab all the stars. Now just lose the cops, which I'm in a fully ammoed vehicle, so that should be easy for me. But for you guys, you guys can just go to the casino, go inside of it, wait just a minute, and then the cops should be off of you. For me, it's going to be pretty in a fully ammoed car, and it's pretty fast, so... Also, I would recommend purchasing the Karuma once you get enough money because it's 100% worth the purchase. Not only is it fast, it's also ammo, so you can get out of sticky situations like this where the cops are just on you.
Now, for some countries, the lucky wheel and the chips won't be available, or the casino. That's gonna suck. But don't worry, you can still own a million dollars without the casino. I've done it before. Now, let's say for the people that I did do all that stuff. Let's say for the people that I got all the stuff. Let's say for the people that I got the $50,000. Well, obviously I have to lose the cops so I can't register as a CEO while the cops are on me. Which that still annoys me to this day. So now, for people that I got all the stuff, you're going to go down to secure so you're going to register as a VIP, which I'm a CEO, which I got to cash in this $1,000 because obviously I'm broke as a joke right now. Now, don't worry, it won't spend your $50,000, you just need it. Now go to VIP walk, you have some VIP walk. And you probably want to hire associates to your VIP, so you're just going to offer to nearby, maybe. So you want to ha offer like everybody in the session an associate. Which maybe someone won't join but that's fine. So you want to go to VIP walk. And my favorite one's a headhunter. Hostile takeover and assist recovery. Assist recovery, I always do this one, so I'd recommend the Vespucci Police Station. Which I'm just gonna do this assist recovery mission just to show you guys how much money you can earn from assist recovery. Now you gotta deliver it to the place within the time limit or or you won't be able to get any money at all or any IP and basically it's it's ending. It's all over for you. But you get so much money from VIP missions and it's my favorite way to earn money. VIP Missions. It's the best way to earn some easy cash. So now we only have fifty thousand dollars left over when we had to get the secure solve VIP thing. We only have fifty thousand dollars left over, which is just amazing. So that will just push us one step closer to getting that one million to be able to get that CEO. Stuff that CEO place. So now you're just going to steal the vehicle. Which these aren't too head. That's why I like assist recovery. It's high paying, it's probably the easiest.
Now, obviously, it's so hard to lose the cops like this, but I'm just gonna still do it anyways, cause I'm so good at losing the cops. Wink, wink. I'm horrible at losing the cops. Good thing I have sna snacks. I have three P and Q's. And it's kind of hard, the assist recovery. It's not the hardest, but it's pretty hard. Now, literally everyone's bumping into me. Move out of the way, you stupid idiot. So now, obviously, it's hard to lose the cops. And as you get pretty close, it's gonna say you need to lose the cops. And obviously, that's gonna be pretty hard because the cops, we all know, if it's a four star wanted level or more, like five, it's really hard to lose. And we all know it's kind of hard to lose the cops in 20 minutes on this stupid thing. But I might not be able to do this, but trust me, it pays pretty high. I suck at GTA, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to be able to do this. Because I suck at GTA, and we all know that. We all know I suck at GTA, right? Why did it spawn me so far away? Literally, it's never spawned me this far away. Doing, doing this, it's never spawned me this far away from the actual vehicle, the actual assist recovery vehicle. It's never actually spawned me this far away, which is kind of weird. I'm kind of annoyed by that, how it spawned me this far away. And it's never done that. That makes me just a little bit annoyed. I wish that these assist recovery vehicles were like armored. So it would be easier to like just deliver it to the drop off under the time limit until that time limit just runs out. Which, no, you cannot call Lester, by the way. Obviously, you can't. That's impossible. It would not allow you to do that. Watch. What do you need, exactly? See, unavailable. Back when your brain has started working. He will not assist you through the assist recovery missions.
Also, shortcuts are key. Obviously, once you're near, it's gonna put you at a two star wanted level, which is way easier than three star or four star. As long as it's not three or above, you should be able to lose it. But at this point, it kind of allows you to lose the cops because, like, you're only at a two star. So it makes it less annoying to lose them, so. So now let's just deliver the vehicle to the drop off location just to show you guys how easy and high paying that this is. Alright, so now you're just gonna put it at the drop off location. And I'll show you guys how much money I get. Look at my money. You can see how much money you actually get. That's actually a lot of money. All right, so another way you could do this is survival. So I'm just gonna transition into a survival. And the pretty high paying. So active for this. You can just play the survival by yourself, which I would recommend. Why won't it let me switch weapons? Still won't let me switch weapons. So yeah, it's an annoying glitch where it just doesn't allow you to switch weapons. It's very annoying. I've had it many times before. after just a little bit it should fix itself and you should be able to switch weapons in no time it's just a bit annoying because it kind of ruins the survival experience but as you guys can see survivals are pretty nice you just gotta survive the whole way through 
and you can earn quite a bit of cash from it. I'd recommend to go buy at least some guns before you do this and you can even just collect the, the body cash too you can collect some body cash of these people because obviously they're gonna drop body cash so I would recommend picking up the body cash Picking up the body catch is very recommended for me. I always do it whenever I play these survivals, which is actually not really rare. You can still earn a ton of money. Which is exactly why I play them. I play them for the money. And sometimes I just play them for fun. But mostly for the money. So you can earn quite a bit of cash from these survivals. There's not many waves, there's like 10 to 5 waves in each survival. Actually no, there's 10 to 20 waves in each survival. Which that's actually a very low amount of waves. As long as you don't put on endless waves then you can earn the Maximum amount of cash as long as you do not put on endless waves. Endless waves lowers the amount of money you get because you're going to have to leave the survival first of all in order to stop it. And then you earn the cash. Which is why I would never recommend putting on endless waves. So obviously I would recommend it if you're just looking to have fun. But obviously I'm picking up all the body cash, the body cash. And look at how much money I've gotten by just picking up body cash from these people. Okay, so obviously I failed the survival because it didn't let me shoot him. Like, there's a lot of problems going on with GTA, but I only f owned 400 because I didn't exactly do the full survival. I didn't really want to do the full survival anyways because that would be kind of boring. So I'm just going to go into free mode and then tell you the next way on owning cash, which obviously we are going to need to do. And obviously... We got all this way in the beginning by just selling a car. That's the first thing we did when we put this video up. And you guys have made $50,000 already. We've made $50,000 already. We've become a VIP by just selling a car and then doing just some extra missions. So obviously, I'm going to cash out all the money and you might not have 50,000 yet oh, 
So since you probably don't have 50,000 yet, I'd recommend doing contact missions. Now what contact missions do is you can just go to Rockstar Created, Missions, and we have some contact missions. You have all these contact missions. I've completed most of these. Not all of them. <laughs> but all these contact missions are pretty high paying, so I'd recommend doing at least some of these contact missions. Or doing the last play missions because you can on double cash and double uh, P. Now, if contact missions aren't for you, then I have something that's definitely for you Arena War. So, Arena War, you can earn quite a bit of cash from Arena War missions, and you don't even need an Arena War series. storage for your arena ball thing you don't even need the arena warship whatever the heck it's called the the arena wall you don't even need that right there and you can still play arena war missions buying an arena wall buying an arena you don't even need an arena bot to play arena wall. Which is quite sick, okay? It's quite sick. That's kind of sick how you don't even need a stupid arena workshop. Which obviously I bought an arena workshop because you can still earn some cash from it, but I won't recommend buying it. It's kind of useless. You can just saw vehicles in there. That's basically what it is. It's a business where you can just saw vehicles. But it's kind of cool. Obviously, I have one. And I think I'm stuck in this loading screen, so I'll be right back. Okay, so unfortunately, since um, my game kind of crashed and I was stuck in the loading screen, I didn't even get any money from it, so I'm stuck on this amount. But that's fine. Because you guys can still play the um, arena wall thing, but I just won't. I don't know why I'm not part of CEO. Alright, that was kind of weird. I wasn't part of CEO, but step number, I don't know, 100? I'm losing count at this point. <laughs> so you might or might not have enough money, which most of you guys probably won't have enough money yet. So for the people that don't have enough money yet, I'm just gonna show you a few more ways of getting some money in this game. So yes, we did mention robbing stars. So, but you can just keep robbing stars until you're at a million. Which that would take kind of a while. Or you could do money glitches. I wouldn't recommend that, but you can. You can kill pedestrians on the street. And obviously collect the floor money, which doesn't really drop a lot, but you can still do it. Floor money doesn't really drop a lot of cash. But 
that, I'm still going to try and get some flaw money because obviously, even though flaw money doesn't drop quite a bit of cash, it still puts you kind of one step closer to getting that house. Obviously, he doesn't have any flaw money. He looks freaking homeless. Hey, are you? So just kill a few people, collect all flaw money, which as you guys can see. This dude has flaw money. And try and blow these up. So yes, flaw money doesn't drop a lot of cash, but you still get what I was saying. Oh, get flaw money, get flaw money. Cause even though it doesn't drop a lot of cash, it still drops cash and we're just getting some easy cash in the game. So now that we got the floor money stuff out of the way, now let's just show you the glitch stuff, which I don't really want to get banned, so... I am going to do the safest money glitch I know. The casino valet money glitch. The valet money glitch. It's the safest money glitch I know, and I know that I've done this many times before, and my account hasn't gotten wiped. So, step number one to do the valet money glitch and get some easy money go to the casino. Now the valet money glitch is probably the safest money glitch out there. I would recommend doing it, but yeah. Obviously no one wants to get banned here, so. So I'm just gonna do the valet money glitch two times, so. It's a pretty easy money glitch to do, you kill the valet. You go over to his body to collect his cash, you go inside the casino, wait two minutes, come back out, and then just kill the valet again, and again, and again, and again, and again. So I'm surprised they haven't patched this money glitch yet, because I've seen a lot of people doing it now. So watch this. Alexa said time off for two minutes.
Alexa, how much time is left? You have 10 seconds left on your two-minute timer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0. Alexa, stop. So now you can just leave the casino. Then the valley shall respond. So now you can just kill him again. Why did it put me back into the casino? No. Why is it putting me back in the casino? I, it was just putting me back in the casino and back in the casino and back in the casino. It was confusing. But anyways, you can do that money glitch. Cash in your money. Keep... Alright, so now that we're probably at a million because we've done a lot. I haven't. You can just go to Dynasty 8 Executive and just buy the thing once you're at a million. So now if you're not a million, you can just do all these steps again and then just keep doing it like each day and then you should be able to get to a million. So now that you bought it, you're going to click buy. Obviously I'm not going to shade in my maze baked towel. It would give me a lot of money, though. But I'm not doing it. But, 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 but. No, wrong site. But, 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 I've been wanting to trade in with this. This one just looks a lot more nice, but I can't. So now that you've done that, you've purchased it, you can just go to it. Now you can just keep doing it. If you're not at a million, just keep doing the same steps until you at, at a million. And then just go to the... So obviously now that you're inside your little, little one million dollar thingy, your little one million dollar CEO office. Okay, so the final thing you want to purchase is a nightclub. So, obviously, the nightclub, you get more, the more popular you get, the more your wall safe gets up. And obviously, you need to set up your nightclub by getting the staff and setting up the DJ stuff, which is pretty easy. 
And this is the final portraits you're going to need to make, which I'd recommend just combining everything we said in this video to make the portraits for the nightclub. And obviously we all know that this is a pretty long video I just put together right here. And I'm about to tell you guys why and how you can easily make money off of your wall safe and how popular your nightclub is. Okay, so you guys thought we were going to end the video there. Well, we haven't taught you how you can make money off of a nightclub yet. So there's a wall safe. Now you can just collect the money from the wall safe. And the more popularity you get, the more money that's in the wall safe. So you can even dance in your own nightclub, which I'm going to stop. And the more popular you'll get, the more money that's inside your wall safe, and the more money you can collect inside your wall safe. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Goodbye!